I'd rather be deer hunting. <laughs> More like I'd rather be remodeling a kitchen right now. Welcome to another Mr. How To video. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can take this old 1999 kitchen right here and for less than $1,900, turn it into this right here. But before we get too far into this right here, we gotta go back to the old kitchen. I'll show you exactly how I did it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if you have an island or wherever your sink is at, undo your drain, which is gonna be this one right here. It's usually an inch and a half PVC pipe. And then you're also going to want to turn off your water and shut off both your hot and cold. So we're gonna do that right now. Also, if there's any pressure in your faucet, relieve it. We can see here the faucet's dead. Make sure that you undo the mounts on the dishwasher. You open up your dishwasher, there's two mounts right here. There's one here, there's another one right here. One, you two. All right, so you can see here, we've got the old one off. We got the new countertop on. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're nice and level around the whole thing. That it's all, that right here is the same dimension on this side as it is on the other side. Real easy to do that. All you do, take your tape measure. We can see going up to the cabinet right here, there's, there's no piece of trim or nothing. It's straight wood. We measure it. We can see it's two and seven eighths. That would be three right there, two and seven eighths. We go to the other side. We can also see here, there's no piece of trim. There's nothing obstructing us. We're right at two and seven eighths. So the countertop is perfectly centered. Next, since this is an island and we can only go off, we can go off the back, but we're gonna go off the front. We got the front set at one and one eighth of an inch. All you do, go to the other end. We can see that we are perfectly one. There's one right there and one eighth of an inch. So we know just by those three being centered, if we do the same back here, we've got 12 and five eighths. Same thing, 12 and five eighths. That's how you center your new island when you put it on. Once your island is centered, take a pencil and a mark everything. Okay. 
By marking this, we're gonna lift, we're gonna take the countertop off, and then we're gonna put a little, we're gonna put some dots of adhesive on. Once we put it and set it back down, you don't, it has to be perfect and you don't wanna move it. You don't wanna slide it all because it messes those dots of adhesive up. So that's why once you get it centered, make sure you mark it because then it's gonna come off. Now we're gonna take the island off. We're gonna pop it off. We're gonna put some adhesive down, some dots of adhesive. And then we're gonna set it back down. This is where the pencil marks come in, very important. You have to set it down perfectly back down on the pencil marks so that you don't move it at all. Your adhesive, you, I would recommend 100% silicone. It's waterproof. It takes about four to six hours to set up. You just do a few dots. It doesn't have to be. This stuff is, is plenty strong enough. When you put your island down, once you do your dots of silicone, you can if you want, you don't have to. I would recommend it though, because this is a free floating island. You get a little L bracket and put maybe four of them in. You put two down at one end, two down at another. Then you'll know it'll, it will not move even once the silicone sets up. 100% your call. I like using these though. This is what I use right here. And then, no, actually it's a, just a small little three quarter inch screw. Once you get your, island set and you're going to put some L brackets in to make sure it's good and centered. You can always use a DeWalt, well, or it doesn't matter. You can use a clamp as well just to hold it if you think it might move a little bit. So we're going to do that right now. All right, there we go. Next thing you're going to want to do if you're putting countertops on an island or if there's a dishwasher underneath them, go ahead and recenter it. Make sure your gap is the same on this side as it is on the other side. This one needs to go over just a little bit. We got about a 16th of an inch on each side and then make sure your front is nice and flush. So we can see this one is. All you do then, open it up. Screw her back in there, we lost. There it is. <clears throat> there we go. Don't over tighten it. Dishwasher's good to go. All right, now we got the island on. We're gonna go ahead and open the sink and take it out of the box. When you buy a new sink, you're gonna get a template that comes with it. This is what you're gonna to use to cut your hole for your sink. We're gonna measure it out. We're gonna figure out where we gotta go. We're gonna tape this down and then we're gonna saw on whatever line we're supposed to saw on, and we'll have our sink opening. All right, the sink that we have is a QT812. It's this one right here. This template has a bunch of different sinks on it, QT820, the QU811, but we're a QT812. So what I'm gonna do, so I don't get messed up later on down the road, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this whole line All right, so before you decide where you're gonna put this, we have to figure out where the rough opening is in here. So all you do, you just draw your countertop, you put your kit 
your base, your sink cabinet in. And then I already know that we're two, we're two and seven eighths from the edge of the countertop to here. And then I know that this piece here is about a quarter of an inch. So it's roughly about three and an eighth. So all I gotta do is measure from the edge of the countertop and go to three and an eighth. And I know roughly with like 99% accuracy that that is the rough opening of the inside of the cabinet. We do it again at three and an eighth. You go like that, you grab a level or a straight edge, hook up both lines. You can see we got one there. You can use a, cr a crayon, you can use a pencil, it really don't matter. I already got this first one mapped out. All right, so that's one of them there. Um, now also we know Here we're 12 and 5 eighths plus a quarter, 12 and 3 quarters, 12 and 7 eighths. So roughly 12 and 7 eighths from the edge of the countertop in will get you to your rough opening. So we go here, we go 12, 7 eighths. Twelve and seven eighths. When you're all done, nice thing with a pencil, when you're all done, you can just take a big eraser to it. All right, now you only need one measurement from the inside of the cabinet. All I'm gonna do is measure from one side to the other. You can even do it down below, it don't matter. We know that it's roughly 34, we'll say 34 and a half. So now, I know that's a rough opening right there. We just go 34 and a half. Go to the other one right there. 34 and a half. There we go. Probably hard to see, but this is our, this with about 99% accuracy, this is our rough opening on the inside. If we were in, inside looking up, we would see yeah, the very corners yeah, yeah. of this cabinet, the very edges. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now what you wanna do, I've went ahead and I've cut out the template, the line that I highlighted, I cut it out. There's a couple different ways you can do this. It really depends what it tells you but you can tape these down all the way around. Then you have to try to find your line. I don't like doing it that way. Plus I've, I've ruined these by cutting on them. So what I always do, I cut them out. We're gonna center it right where it needs to go. Then I'm gonna retrace the line with a pencil. You retrace that line and then take this template right off. You can save your template. You probably won't need it later on, but I've noticed that's always the best way to do it. So we can see with the pencil, we've got our rough opening. And now I just tend to just center them in the opening. You can do it kind of however you want, but um, I measure it and look for center. It's about one and an eighth on one side, one and an eighth on the other, and then we're about seven eighths on the back and seven eighths on the front. That's it, it's perfectly centered right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to tape this down, but then I'm gonna start to trace the outside of it.
All right, now we're gonna take our jigsaw, we're gonna cut our line out, we're gonna create our hole for our sink. This is extremely important. Make sure when you buy jigsaw blades that it has the little countertop icon. Don't just get the blades that are for wood that are maybe six teeth per inch. You're gonna want 10 or more. The finer the tooth, the better. You don't wanna, the reason for that, you'll chip the laminate or you'll completely just pull it apart from the wood. So make sure that you get the countertop icon on the blades. This quartz sink comes with, these are the tie downs or the mounts for the under, under sink mount. It mounts to the sink and then you screw this, screw right here and then it tightens down into the wood. So right now I got three left, I've already put all the other sides on. All you do with these, you just take the center of it, line her up the best you can there. Give it a good push. We're getting ready to put the drain in right now. And so whenever you put a drain in, you just wanna follow whatever the manufacturer's instructions say. This one here 
It has all the gaskets, everything that we need. It says to put a little bit of plumber's putty right in here. So the sink will go in between these two. So right now I went up and picked up some plumber's putty. You just pull it out, this stuff here. It's really what it is, it's kind of like Play-Doh. And you just, this is, this is way too much. I knew that when I did it. putty in there I put the gasket over
drink again, only okay. just do it. Just do a normal drink. Okay. Just in case. Ready? Yep. Reverse osmosis water. How about, um, can you fill the glass? Let's do the glass okay. again. All right. Oh, and just take a sip. Like, don't, like, guzzle it down. Just take a sip? Yeah, just, okay, just, ready? okay. Wait, wait. 